Hello. How did we get to August so fast? I seriously don't want this year to be like some of the others where I stand at the end of the year looking back and then I'm not able to recall what happened to the months and the weeks and the days and the hours. Did you have all these plans for this year but nothing has materialized yet? Or do you feel like this year has just been running away with you again? So I thought it would be good to return to a piece that I read in Craig McEwan's book, Essentialism, so that we can address this and make some changes before it is too late again. Thanks again for joining me today. Please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also remember, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please share it with your family and your friends so that it can help them too. So the big question is, how do women like us, who are wearing so many different hats each day, and who don't cheat by looking like we have everything under control, take back our homes and life, free from the chains of clutter? How do we simplify, get started, get unstuck, let things go and create more time, so that we can truly focus on what is essential for a happy and healthy life with our loved ones? That is the question. And this show will give you the answers. My name is Lizelle Tenton and welcome to the Vanilla Essence Show. So I quote from Craig McEwan's book Essentialism. Only once you give yourself permission to stop trying to do it all, to stop saying yes to everyone, can you make your highest contribution towards the things that really matter, like taking back control of your home, investing in important relationships, better your health, etc. What about you? I mean, how many times have you reacted to a request by saying yes without really thinking about it? How many times have you resented committing to do something and wondered, why did I ever sign up for this? How often do you say yes simply to please or to avoid trouble or because yes had just become your default response? Now, let me also ask you this. Have you ever found yourself stretched too thin? Have you ever felt both overworked and underutilized? Have you ever found yourself majoring in minor activities? And do you ever feel busy but not productive? Like you're always in motion but never getting anywhere, wondering why you never get to the stuff that you really want to do. Now, if you've answered yes to any of these, the way out, the way to change is the way of the essentialist. I'm not talking about minimalism. That is a whole beast on its own. I'm talking about essentialism. Knowing what to do in the right order, what to say yes for and what to say no for, so that we can get to that which we long to do, like decluttering our homes, for example. Sometimes we just need to slow down a bit, stop running and again become aware of what is going on around us, what is important to us. I mean, we are constantly bombarded with choices and information, too many choices, and it is keeping us so busy. Psychologists call this decision fatigue. Against all popular belief, you cannot do it all. You cannot keep on running around like crazy, trying to get to everything and to please everyone. At some point, you will fall flat on your face. And that is when things start to spin out of control, in your home, in your health, in your relationships and your life. You must make purposeful decisions on what is important to you and on what you want to focus your energy on. To please other people or to focus on what is important to you and your family. I mean, if you don't decide on what's important to you, the media, social pressure or advertising companies will choose for you. Now, of course, all of this will take courage, as all change does. I mean, change is not always easy, but it is so necessary for us to grow. And I quote from the book again, Essentialism. Essentialism is not about how to get more things done. It's about how to get the right things done. It doesn't mean just doing less for the sake of less either. It is about making the wisest possible investment of your time and your energy in order to operate at your highest point of contribution by doing only what is essential. I mean, if you don't prioritize your life, someone else will. So if you can ask yourself just one question today and give a truthful answer, that question should be, 
what is the one thing that you can do that would make the highest contribution and the biggest difference for the remaining part of this year in your life, in your home, in your relationships and your health? That is how you will ensure that you get the most and what you really want from the remaining four months of this year. Thanks again for joining me today. Please like my page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. But first, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please share it with your family and your friends so that it can help them too.